So uh, we detected a small puncture in the inner tire. Okay, we are going to change this out and look at the person who is going to help us do it. Yes. You either can hear me or this is uh, the auntie going to change our tires. So uh, I think we are finding a way to get the tires out, but I'm sure she's better than me. <laughs> One person job. Okay, this is the driver. He is also getting out the spare tire. The spare is here. How many more clocks are Wow. So this is the hydraulic jack. Should be enough to lift 12 tons. Okay. So he's going to try and free the tire and uh, it looks dangerous if it falls down because one of these tires can be easily almost 100 kilos or even more. Okay, as we wait for him to do it, let's go to the back and check it out. Now auntie is under the bus now. Probably checking out the tire or putting up the hydraulics. Okay. And the bus is going up. So it's run by compressed air and this is a much just a little bit room is good enough so the truck comes with a compressor Good old Nissan. Okay, next. Alright, we have the power tool out to get the nuts. 
Yes. Crazy. I wonder how heavy that thing is. Okay, changing the the nut head. The boat is stuck. Barely. The 100 kilo tire comes off. <laughs> spare tire. And the spare tire is out. Alright, we got uh, next one coming right out. I wonder how old he she is. One person, one tire. Unbloody believable. Wow. And she moves it by herself. These things are not cheap. Not light, tell you they are not light. It's crazy heavy. There's a big nail on the tire. <coughs> okay. There's a big nail. Now the spare is going in by one person. I don't even know how she does it. Okay. Oh, look at that. Signs, people, signs. Uh, liver. And, and it goes in. Just like that. Wow. It looks so easy to her. <laughs> looks so easy to her. You know, no, these things weigh like easily 100 kilos, even uh, let's say 90. Okay, air pressure check. One compressor does it all. Get all the tools in. Everything powered by air. But these massive tires with the rim is on, yeah, I think it's easily more than 100 kilos. What she just did was she tested for a leak with a saliva. So the valve is fine, so we are good to go. And again, we will see her at work. Put 
think it's higher than probably easily twice a weight check that out people maybe someone can get her to go for some kind of weight competition something like that unbelievable isn't it okay now we're getting the bolts in and they are the, the driver is trying to speed things up because we still got the punctured tire to put the put it back on the bus if there's any torque requirement apparently this thing is very high torque and, uh, and I'm, if you can see she's using her knees or her, her thighs to block that thing from moving further there's a tough job there She's using her thighs. She's using her thighs to make sure that the coil back doesn't affect her work. Just like a gun. The recoil is crazy. She's using her freaking thighs to support it. And she's done. Now she's going to lower the jack then by going under the bus and, and probably her size fits the bus the people like if you are bigger in size Probably can't fit down there so easily. And she's done. Now she's uh, gonna help put back the other tire. And all these machineries are not very light. And she just deals with it. Now to get this one back in. Well, so we have one spare. Okay, put the gas in. True to our Malaysian spirit, we will help each other in times of need. And yes, I am helping to make sure we get all this down okay let's see how the expert does it it seems like she doesn't care yeah yeah can do Ah, there we go. There's an experience of a lifetime. Okay, we got the thing in. <laughs> and she crawls in. There we go. And I'm very interested to see how she gets it in. Oh, I think it's... Oh! So, this thing's like a jack. Okay, 
Okay, so he's jacking this up. Uh, so that's how it works. Okay, now it's getting harder because it's gonna it's heavy. So even to operate the jack is gonna take some muscling. And of course you can always use a power tool but I'm not sure if it fits it. Okay, it's almost up. I find it fascinating that she's always constantly moving the tire on her own. That is like nothing to her. Hey, weightlifting yeah. people, try this for our daily living. You go to the gym every day, so try this out. <coughs> And the auntie goes in to get the nuts and bolts in. Cut up the nuts from the in. Secure the tires and I think we are good to go. <coughs> oh my goodness. Wonderful person, isn't it? All your weight lifters out there. You don't need muscles. You need technique. You need the heart. And she does it like this day in day out, I guess. Which company gets a call that a bus gets a puncture, sends a woman over? And I think she, she owns this company. It's her daily living, her daily job. Okay, she's done. Unbelievable. So again, uh, this is her company, I guess. Okay, in Yongping. Uh, she's writing the bill right now, and this is what you can find in her little vehicle. All the tools that you may need for a puncture. And this is the most important thing here. Without this, you can't do much. It's crazy, isn't it? air compressor, the air goes to there and powers everything she has or everything that she would ever need alright, um, that's all for today for now I guess and let's hope that the uh, remaining journey goes fine <laughs>